Waiting for the Parade is a play that's set in Calgary in, uh, over the span of World War II, so it would be sort of 1939 40 until 1945, basically, and it's about five women who form, join a group uh, called the um, Red Triangle Hostesses, which was a group that set up in an old train station in Calgary. And, and so as the trains came in, they greeted the soldiers, they gave them care packages, they, they waved them in and they waved them out, they greeted the returning wounded and they, uh, they, they sent them off, they sent the guys off with a rousing cheer. They also did Red Cross volunteering, rolled bandages and, uh, and, and many other, and they had dances and they sang and entertained and just did whatever they could. still relevant today, right? Very, very much so, yes. I, I was just thinking about that today because um, saying that, you know, and also relevant to the fact that we're doing it for the Women's Centre as a, as a fundraiser because uh, the Women's Centre is there as a group of women, people who are there helping the vulnerable, you know, who have, have fallen prey, prey to the ills of society, etc. And it's sort of like it's the, that's like the battlefront home frontier now. And I, uh, as against the home front during the war when we just had to keep things going. Get out of my shop! A more personal approach! Get out of my island. shop! Wet or dry, it wouldn't fool me. Everybody's using it. You can't tell it from the real thing. Harry gives me money for the genuine article silk. But when he told me how much he despises those women who put paint on their limbs, tramps he calls them, I knew I had to try it. <laughs>